What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we're getting into a brand new office tour. A lot of you have been asking for this lately and I recently put up a new desk tour so if you want to check that out, link below in the description. But here we are in the office, we're going to take a look around, I'm going to show you what everything's all about. Obviously right here we have the desk. This is like the main command center as I call it where everything happens. All the editing here goes down and I have my Yamaha speakers on the side, this nice looking desk, which is actually a kitchen countertop from Ikea, but I go in depth with all of this stuff in the desk tour, so be sure that you see that. So I'm gonna move past this desk because you can go watch that video, but over here in the back corner, we have a spot where I basically hoard a bunch of boxes, is what it comes down to, because let's be honest, we don't really need to save all these boxes, but we like to do that because, I don't know, I'm a big nerd like that. But I got a bunch of stuff over here. One thing that I'm actually uh, pretty excited about checking out is the Ghost Drone 2.0. I got this in the house here, and we are going to take a look at it pretty soon. Leave a thumbs up if you wanna see a full video on this because I believe this thing comes with a VR headset that either allows you to control it or control a camera or something crazy like that. So ghost drone for the win. I have some furniture all around the place, but here's, here's my idea with the furniture in the office, right? I wanted to set this place up so that any part in this office was completely filmable. I didn't have to like, oh, okay, well I can't film over there because I don't like the look of that. So everything that I put in here was designed that I could film on it, you know? It was just all put together like that. So I have different furniture fixtures like this. Obviously there's some storage here in these drawers and there's storage inside of this big chest right here, which you see in a lot of my videos. And I poured a bunch of boxes in there. Um, we have some cool books, some ambient lighting back here. Over here is the second desk. Now I didn't put this desk in the new, uh, uh, the new desk tour video that I put up recently because not a lot has changed on it, right? So, um, we still have the ASUS PQ321 monitor, the Yamaha speakers, and this whole system is powered by a MacBook. So you just plug in your MacBook, anybody like either, if it's my brother or myself, we can plug in our MacBook and just go on this thing. Now the cool thing about this desk is that it's a standing desk. So you can easily raise it up, bring it up to standing height, be able to work, whatever, if you don't feel like sitting down. If you wanna see an in-depth uh, version of a desk tour for this desk, I did it in the previous one that I did, so you can check that out using the links below. And I will try to link as much stuff from the office as I can in the description. So go ahead and just check that out. That's kind of your guide for this whole thing. But over here, I have a couple of guitars. As you can see, there's a Jackson and an Ovation. And I do play guitar. I've been playing guitar for, for quite a long time. So I have these here when I want to use them. They're there when I need them. And next to that, I just have this little thing. Again, more furniture pieces in here that allow me to just shoot. But on top of here, we got the Motorona. A lot of you were excited about this video. I'm glad you liked it. This is one beast of a phone. And my favorite, the F1 Mini, which is tiny little car phone. Like literally, it's a car. That's a phone. Moving along here, we have the silver play button from YouTube, which is what you get when you reach uh, 100,000 subscribers. It's pretty cool to have. I mean, it's nothing big as you can see here. It's, it's like a very small plaque, but it's cool because it shows how much you guys support what I do. And I really appreciate that every single day. Moving on to like the kitchen area, I guess if you want to call it the kitchen area. Um, there's a table right here. I got some D-brand skins, shameless plug for them, but Got some OnePlus 3 skins right here, the concrete ones, which I'm pretty excited about. And the review on the OnePlus 3 is coming up very soon. So be sure that you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see that. I have this little uh, island here that's nice. It's just, I, again, this is like a kind of a boring kitchen area, microwave, refrigerator. Over on the other side though, I did do a video on this guy right here. This is a printer from HP. It's a pretty cool printer. I actually, I don't even use it to print a lot. I actually use it to scan stuff to my phone more than anything. And I never thought I would be doing that as much as I do with this thing. So very awesome. But moving along back here, um, over to the side right here, we have the bathroom. Not really much fancy to see there. There's a toilet, a sink, and a shower. So yeah, but in the back room, this is kind of where, I like to say that I set up the entire place to shoot video, but I do a lot more shooting in this room. Uh, we have my flash poster against the wall here. It's not even a poster, it's like a, like a hard thing, I don't know. It's cool though, the flash is awesome. Okay, if you've never been to um, Hobby Lobby, you need to definitely check it out. So Hobby Lobby is awesome, and I'm not sponsoring sponsored by them or anything, I'm just saying that's where I got this little thing from. It's really cool, I like it a lot, but we have 
one of my favorite things ever. So this is the Manfrotto, I believe it's like the 190X Pro or something like that. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Um, but this tripod is one of my favorite tripods ever. I actually own three of them, which might sound a little crazy, but I, I literally do. These legs are awesome. So if you're looking for a solid tripod, it's not that expensive, it won't break the bank, and it's capable of doing some amazing shots. Now, right here, I shoot a lot on this table, but that's not even what's important about this thing. <laughs> Inside of the drawer here, you will find Smartphone Central. Um, basically my hoarded collection of smartphones over probably the past year or two, maybe. I mean, some of these are old, but a lot of them are newer. But you can see like within the last year, like here's the OnePlus 2. We have the Nexus 5X. I keep all the phones in there so that they're just easily accessible when I need them. I wish there was a better way to organize them, but you know, not right at this moment. I got a table, nothing fancy about that. There's a little charger on top of it. I obviously shoot on all of these things that you see and have a little chair if I wanna kick back. Over here though, so I gotta be real with you guys. So this, this is a 65 inch Samsung curved 4K TV. And I did a sponsored video on this a while back, if you guys have see, had seen that. It's a really cool TV though. So full disclosure, yes, sponsored video on this thing, but this TV is like one of my favorite TVs ever. I don't even know if it has to do with the fact that it's curved, but the picture is just so crispy. I absolutely love it. It's, it's really awesome. And connected to that, I have a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. Over here, there's just kind of a couch area right here. There's a coffee table, a couch just to kick back and chill. I have my Bose QC35 noise canceling headphones. These are the wireless ones and I've been using them for, I think I got them like a day or two after they came out. I love them and I use them a lot with my iPad Pro here. Over here, some more camera equipment. Like I said, these are the other two pairs of sticks that I have for uh, the 190X tripod that I was telling you is my favorite tripod on the planet. I have two other sets of those legs right here that's supporting this Kessler slider. And I'm using the Kessler second shooter system. So a lot of you have asked, oh, how do you get those cool disappearing shots and things like that? And actually Anthony does a lot of those shots too using this slider right here. So it's completely automated. It's a three axis slider system and it can be programmed to point from one angle and move up or down and slide across to another angle. And you can set it up very specifically to get the shots that you want the first time. It's a very amazing system. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. If you have money to drop on camera gear, if you're into like a lot of cinematography stuff, it might be worth it. Hold on. This, <laughs> This was, I get a lot of weird stuff sent to the office, right? A lot of weird stuff. But never have I ever seen a Transformer vacuum robot. That's not even the funny part. I mean, I can get over the fact that it looks like Megatron or something, but this is what I find to be hilarious. Hello, master. Jishuang Smart Robot is serving you. Hello, master. It may look like a Transformer, but it does roam around and sweep things up and, and stuff like that. I have a bunch of storage here, but I just kind of throw stuff in it. Like, okay, this is a whole thing, a whole tub full of cables. Um, this is a whole box full of like headphones and stuff like that. So I, I kind of have some order to it, but at the end of the day, I just throw stuff in there that I don't want to deal with at the moment. Unlike what I do here with this thing, this is a wardrobe unit from Ikea and I originally Stole the idea from my buddy John, you know him, TLD. It's a wardrobe and you can customize the shelving layout how you want and have everything set up and tailored to what you need. So normally people hang clothes and stuff and, and things like this. I'm actually using it. I have my camera gear on one shelf. I have like lenses here, like the Sigma 18 to 35, which I absolutely love this thing. We have the FS7, which we use for a lot of our video shooting. And we're using the A7R Mark II right now with the Rokinon 12 millimeter lens. And if you like cheap, awesome cinema glass, Rokinon is the way to go for sure. There's a bunch of batteries up here just for the FS7 and the A7R2. One of my favorite microphones here, which is the MKH416 from Sennheiser. Very awesome. And uh, just a bunch of other stuff up here, some cables, some drawers for storage in here. But on the other side, um, I have a little more tech, I guess. So on this shelf, there are some tablets, 
um, the rose gold 12 inch MacBook. This place I have a bunch of tripod heads. So three different sets of legs. So if I wanna have two cameras standing up on a tripod, I have an extra head here. Down here though, this is what's cool, okay? So if I open this drawer, I have these dividers here and they're so helpful in keeping some organization to the chaos, right? So it's not completely organized, it's a little messy, I know, but I know that I have GoPro batteries right here, there's GoPro stuff right here. You know, I, I have things kind of quarantined in their own little sections. And below that, I have smartwatches and some other random cables and stuff. So we have like Android Wear, um, there's some Pebble watches right here, some Apple watches here. But yeah, so like I said, this wardrobe, it's pretty awesome. Oh, people send a bunch of random stuff to the office, right? And a lot of it just goes into this drawer because either I don't, you know, I can't make videos on every little thing that comes here, I, though I would like to, but I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me just doing maybe a series where I unbox some of the wacky stuff that shows up at the office because things just come here and sometimes I really don't know what they do or what the purpose is of said product. But if you wanna see videos and all that weird stuff, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Um, but this is basically the office. I mean, there's not a whole lot to see here. I, I have some lighting over here that we use to light up the videos from time to time. But other than that, I mean, you got guys kind of get a good feel for the the whole gist of the setup but thank you so much for all of the support because this place wouldn't be here without your support so i truly do appreciate that and let me know what you think in the comment section is there anything that you want to see a specific video on anything you want to see that's coming up in the future please let me know i'm all ears to you guys you guys support everything that i do so thank you for that and subscribe for more videos in the future like this so thank you so much for watching everyone this is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.